Guys, I'm almost done with Leviathan Wakes. It's written so beautifully. I can't wait to read the rest, but I might need help with like what to like when to read them, when can I read them? And if I have to kind of, you know, move a little bit quicker with the show, that's fine, you know, at least one episode a week. It's just so good. It's so good. Some of the lines are just so beautiful and it's such a good world. Before the mirrors fell. Dr. Strickland. We needed more time. After Eros, after Toss, we needed to speed things along. It's not exactly the most controlled experiment. It might get a bit messy, but we'll get more answers sooner. Dr. Strickland. Yes, May, darling. I want to go back to my dad. Oh. I spy. Zinnia. Oh, you're too clever. I thought I had you. She's so cute. What the heck was that? Where are we going? It's a surprise, dear. Today is going to be a very exciting day. I'm nervous that she's going to turn into one of those aliens. Sure was nice of Chicken Boy to give us a skeleton key. I'm pretty sure it wasn't out of the goodness of his heart. This reminds me, no, 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 no. This reminds me of Dooley Mao's apartment. You didn't even try to stop me from bashing that kid's head in. Well, you've taught me a lot about futility. I think I just beat you to it. Oh. Or a molecule turned an asteroid into a missile. If we can prevent it from doing something worse, I don't mind bashing some assholes head in. He's going down a rogue path. Dark Jimmy. <laughs> I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. It's been a while since Strickland brought your daughter down here. I know, look, I know exactly how much time's passed. You need to be ready in case we- In case we don't find her? Look, you haven't lost a child. Yes, I have. <gasps> what? My baby boy was taken from me. Oh. And I tried, and I tried to find him, and I failed. It took me a very long time to understand that it wasn't my fault. Would you have listened to anyone who was telling you what you're telling me now? This is not my time to stop. We just got a huge Naomi lore drop. What? She had a baby boy? What happened to that girl who knew her duty? She went to the beach. Let's go to the beach, beach. Her fire team got killed <laughs> by a thing on Ganymede that wasn't wearing a back suit. Mm. Why didn't you tell me what really happened? There's our gunny. You were told what you needed to know, and you've helped quite enough already. It's time you stopped looking for places to project your guilt. All you need to do now is sit tight, keep your mouth shut, and go home. Transport's on its way. It'll be here in a few hours. You make sure your bags are packed. Dismissed. You lied to me about Ganymede. You all lied about Travis. You've been lying to me this whole time. That's what's bothering you. That's what's bothering you? Yes. You may have jeopardized the future of Mars, but all you can think about is your peace of mind. You, your whole generation is soft. You're spoiled. I remember we had drill raids in school every day because oh, back okay, then every boomer. Martian child knew that Earth's fleet was ready and waiting to attack us, to destroy us, to destroy everything that we had worked so hard to build. And that's supposed to justify- Grow up! Peace of mind is a luxury that no Martian can afford, especially not a Marine. Whoa, I mean, but it's you won't true. You not worry about that much longer. Uh, uh. What's that supposed to mean? You won't be going back to parade, Bobby, because you don't follow orders, and a soldier follows orders. You're not a soldier anymore. Dismissed. Dismissed. Sorry, that was pretty effective. Um, I'm sorry. I had a moment. That was he just said that in a really cool way. <laughs> but anyway, it's true for soldiers, especially something like a marine. A peace of mind is a luxury a soldier can't afford. Yeah. Reduce the time of flight to surface. I bet that gets the job done. It would also break mission protocols. Do you think if Magellan followed protocols, he would have circumnavigated the world? He didn't make it all the way around. He died trying. He <laughs> met giants in Patagonia, mate. <laughs> We're uncharted waters. It's worth the risk. Oh. You know what sailors used to say when their ships went past the end of their maps? 
time for a new map. <laughs> Here there be dragons. Here there be dragons. I feel like they're gonna really stumble upon something crazy. The structures around the crater cannot be natural. I'll let you know how it goes. Ooh. I think I found a way to get the Jules Piramel. That's good. <gasps> yes! This whole family's reeling under the financial pressure we've put on them, and I think his eldest daughter, Clarissa, is ready to crack. He adores her, and if we make an amnesty offer through her, she may be able to sell him on it. It's Julie's sister. When the heiress incident hearings are convened, they're going to make you the star of the show. Mm-hmm. Oh, he didn't, mm, his consequences. If he's not here to pay for his crimes, they're going to take it out on me. Well, you're a little culpable. You need to use these hearings to tell them everything. Tell them yourself. Atone for your sins. He's going to run. Will you speak on my behalf? Side of Sorry, you. I shouldn't have even said that. I mean, it would be a dumb move for you, obviously. There's no need to taint yourself. With my folly. No, dude. You'll get through this. <laughs> yeah, I will. Oh my God. One way or another. One way or another. Okay, let's compare him to Fred Johnson, all right? Who has to, on a daily, pay penance for what he did, Butcher of and Anderson Station. She back. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think she's back. I thought it might be a flashback. But it's just, it's, I want to like him, like, but he's just so slimy and ew. I truly do try to like him, I promise. I do, but I can't. It's like, just own up to it, dude. You're not Oppenheimer anymore. <laughs> not that Oppenheimer is a hero at all or even close to Fred Johnson, but like, the fact that he's still, you know, if you really know that you did something wrong, just say, like, okay, yeah, I'll pay for my sins or whatever. Um, <laughs> wait, what? Sir, all traffic and route of this airspace has been restricted until further notice. Who sent the notification? Came directly from Undersecretary Avicerella's officer. <gasps> Here's that effect. Ooh? Ooh? I'm sure it'll all be cleared up soon enough. In the meantime, return to your quarters. You can stare at the ocean a little longer. <laughs> the ocean is awesome. Vassarella. Vassarella. Rosinante behind Jupiter Moon. I love that picture. All right, sweetheart, show me the MCR in no fly zone. He's looking good with that haircut and his trimmed beard. Oh, it's picking Can't up right at the this point. going to give up our location, but God damn it, we got to get a message down to them somehow. Hmm. You're right. He's going a little stir crazy. If I let up the engine, may as well put a big frickin' bullseye on my back. Clumsy. Is that his wedding ring? Ah, ha 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 All right, darling. Saddle up. Slingshot time. Soon, honey, you'll see him soon. It's time for your medicine. No, I want to go home now. <sighs> see this? Oh. Movie? I don't want to play anymore. No, no. Look closer. It's a chrysalis. A butterfly will squeeze its way out of there soon. I was about your age. I saw one trying to get out, but it was having trouble. So I tried to help, really carefully. Oh, God. I split open the casing. And the butterfly came right out. <gasps> but it couldn't fly. It was supposed to struggle. Squeezing its way out of that tight casing pushed fluid from its fat body into its wings. What are they doing to her? What are they doing? What did they give her? Don't you want to be able to fly one day? No, 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 I'm no, no, no. Scared. Well. Let's play a game. We're explorers, and we're off on a grand adventure, and we may learn the secrets of the universe. Oh, no. Come on, sweetheart. 
God, he was only doing that for his... Okay, so that was her medicine. But like, what is the medicine? Does it have to do with the proto-molecule and the husks, the aliens? This is what's freaking me out. I feel like, oh, it's just weird. And he is good ki with kids. Alex knows the backup plan. He'll come down as soon as we call. Holden, you're such a bad boy that now. That like an S-like to shine down. It's happening faster than I thought. What's happening? A cascade. In real nature, there's enough diversity. It means this station is f***ed. Again, this is so scary. It's literally like arrows. It's her medicine bottle. This is May's medicine. She needs a dose every day. Keep going, keep Strickland's going. The keeping her alive. Whatever the reason for that is, he's not ready to learn it. We're on the right track. I want to know what really happened on Ganymede. And you're going to tell me. We're done here. Yes, girl! What happened to my team? You'll get a firing squad for this. Were you testing a weapon on us? On your own soldiers? The whole generation has forgotten what it means to sacrifice for the dream you of mine. New generation. What killed my team? Oh. Oh God, what do you know about what's going on over there right now? Project Caliban. <gasps> Show the field test. Field test. In an unrehearsed battlefield demonstration, a single unarmed version one hybrid easily defeated six UN Marines and then four Martian Marines equipped with the latest Goliath Mark. The drone you were watching. The hybrid covered more than two kilometers on the ground. You watched that thing slaughter my team. We were a goddamn sales demo. Kill him. Kill him. It was for the good of Mars. I would fucking kill him. Oh my god. Captain Martins needs to see you. The way that it was pitched, it was like a freaking marketing thing, like an ad. I hate this. <laughs> Good job. So she went from so gung ho for Mars to I think she's going to give this information to Christian. I just hope she's protected. You there? Oh no. That's her. Stop. <gasps> Stop her ship. Help, 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 way. help, please. Go, 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 go. Help. Oh, that's a direct order. No. Are they? She's over Mars lines. You are on UN soil. I am Gunnery Sergeant with Bird of Draper, Martian fire. Marine Corps. I am requesting political asylum on Earth. <laughs> I'm so proud of her. <laughs> I'm so proud of her. Political asylum. The amount of character development so far. He's doing the tipsy turvy flight path. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Switch the manual! Give me thrusters! It's cool to see the Rosinante in action. when you see someone you went to high school with at the grocery store. What the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> what are you sure? Sergeant Deeper, when I said I need your help, I didn't mean create a diplomatic incident. Then you should have been more specific. <laughs> You're right about that thing on Ganymede, ma'am. It was a weapons test. Me and my team and your Marines too, we were caught in the middle. That test nearly triggered a system-wide war. Mm -hmm. The weapon's up for sale and Mars wants it. Badly. The peace talks, they were a delaying action to buy time. To complete the terms of the contract, I guess. What is this, eBay? This is a brave thing you have done today. We're all in your debt, Sergeant Draper. You don't have to call me Sergeant, ma'am. I'm not a soldier anymore. 
The like, oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Hello, Jules Pierre Mao. What? He wants to FaceTime. Sent a. He poked you on Facebook. She is Bonnie now. Bobby? Bonnie? Oh, God. I can never get it. I'm ready to fight for my daughter. <laughs> this is safe. Hey. <laughs> this is fire. Okay? Don't shoot us. <laughs> Gun safety with Amos. Oh my god, talking. I'm nervous. I'm scared. I'm nervous. I'm scared. Oh. What? Hello? Do you like pizza? <laughs> Amos disarmed these people. That's not going to happen. Don't be stupid. Why don't you put down those guns? And let's talk this out before things get ugly. <gasps> oh my Where's god. Where's May? Shit. Oh, buddy. So he didn't get shot. Oh, cool backpack. You're lucky. It went straight through. Oh, lucky. How come I'm the one who always gets shot? Because you're saving your friends, dude. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Madam, you and I are fortunate to spend our lives in positions of great privilege and power. You're worse than the proto molecule. In ways that few people can even comprehend. <laughs> I love how their faces was like. If you truly have the best interests of Earth at heart, you will meet with me and we will come to an accommodation. These are my conditions and they are non negotiable. You immediately cease all punitive actions against my family. We meet in person on a ship of my choosing. Outside you in control. You will come with a limited escort. Don't refuse this offer. It won't be repeated. But she's... <sighs> she wants to talk to your family. And I mean, she's limiting That's money. That's a trap. Oh, you're so predictable. And so are you. <laughs> You're going to accept. I already did an hour ago. Oh, I think that he might be trying to get like they're trying to maybe trying to improve on people. Because I remember the scientists talking about the proto molecule learning. And so like making a robotic form or like an alien form of a person. So maybe like he wants the proto molecule to learn Christian. And this might be a proto molecule version of her. I no, 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 no! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! No, 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 no! Is that her? Who it is. Oh, That's the room. Oh, you don't touch it. Don't touch anything. It's not her. They released it on Eros uncontrolled to see what it would do. And now they're controlling. They did this for a purpose. Why children? Why children? I hate this. Oh my god, I hate this. This is so evil. What are you doing? I came here to destroy the proto molecule, and that's what I'm gonna do. I mean, okay. Grenade! I <laughs> Uno reverse! Uno reverse! Us aliens. I don't like this. You were eating pizza. Just wait here. No chance. Oh, no. The fucking way. No. I was like, you're not ending there. No, 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 no. Probe telemetry is good. Surface touchdown in five, four, three. Now it's all two, gonna be discoveries. One. Okay, we're in. 
I wouldn't celebrate just yet. I feel like we could lose all of them. I really do. Knowing what the... Oh. R.I.P. Rest in peace, your proto molecule. Is it the soldiers? Like, is it the things that they were advertising? But how, I mean, I know I predicted the kids would turn into those, but like, really, why would they take kids to like, I feel like it, this might be separate. I have a feeling it's separate. Whatever this thing is, took the brunt of the blast. And escaped. No. Oh. I think something broke out of this. Something tore the shit out of this airlock. You need to tell us what is going on. Where's Strickland? Yeah, what did you do to my daughter? Oh. Like you help that kid in the incinerator? Or anyone on Eros? You used a proto molecule on children. What were you doing here? A lot more. Where she came from. Where she came from? That's May. Ma'am, can you be more specific? Like, <sighs> whoa, 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 hold on, hold on there, buddy. Is that Alex? That's me, brother. Alex, I'd kiss you in the mouth right now. Oh. How come you're always the one getting shot? <laughs> How did you find us? Mm -mm. Nope. 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 No. No! Stand by, we're gonna suit up and come out. Roger that. Jim, I'm not going with you. Huh? What? I wanted to believe we could stop this. We can't. Oh no. This is worse than a romantic breakup. This is like a fundamental difference in ideals and values. Take Amos with you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good to go. Uh, come on. Aww. I need an escort out of the no fly zone. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, Chief. Uh oh. I think you best come take a look at this. It sure as hell seems like it's looking at us. Mother of God, that thing ain't got a vaccine on. How the fuck is that possible? What the hell is that thing, Holden? They don't know anything Suit about up. it. We're going on a hunt. Ooh, ooh, ooh! On the hunt. On the hunt, honey. On the hunt. Wow. Holy crap. There was a lot in that thank you. There is a lot in that thank you. And as someone who really, really appreciates Prax and Amos' relationship, that was so perfect. Um, this is a horror show. This is a horror show. That really scared me. I did not expect to be right when I speculated that they were using the kids to make those aliens. I didn't, I guess I didn't wanna be right. <laughs> I did not want to be right. Well, I just don't understand why they would take children. There has to be some science behind that. Like, why are you making it out of kids? I know kids are more vulnerable. You can take them, but you could take anyone as a prisoner. But I just wonder if she it has something to do with her disease, like her disability. Maybe it's some... Um, pompous messed up way of thinking like well, we're making her better she's gonna die anyways you know she's really sick so she can just be this better version where she's super fast and doesn't need a vaccine i don't know some deluded way of thinking or there's some specific scientific reasons of why they're doing that this is really scary like i'm i'm watching the outsider it's a steve based on a stephen king novel which i just read with Caleb and this show is scarier to me than that. And that's a thriller. <laughs> Just seeing that like 
it's like a hollowed out child literally just could see its veins and uh, it's just so creepy and they're in like intubator incubators or whatever and that guy the scientist works specifically with kids he's a pediatrician so i mean i have a lot of thoughts and questions where was he in this whole thing because he didn't die so what if they i hope it's not like she they combined or something because like that proto molecule thing that's so tall it's interesting though the one the woman who died she said as she was dying we made the proto molecule into what we want or something like we used it and made what we wanted and their main focus i think is making weapons and soldiers they were advertising those husks i'm pretty sure it was the same thing it looked like a little bit of a lighter blue but we only saw the face of it in um getting his mask no matter what there's like no good answers <laughs> it's all really 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 creepy and the one that the scientist like the planet that the, the scientist landed on and um you know that that ship that christian sent the guy it was like a tower it was like a, a i don't know like a thin tower or something here there be dragons yeah but even worse Honestly, the best scenario with that would be that May died. <laughs> Isn't that messed up? Isn't that so messed up? And Naomi warned all of them. She was like, he's not he's not prepared for what he'll learn, like what happened to her, because I would rather the kid die. And so he didn't have any qualms about holding incinerate, incinerating the creature. You know, I don't even want to even think about the ethics if if we actually have to live with the proto molecule, what the ethics will be of like killing those aliens? Like, are they sentient? They would have to be because proto molecule Julie was like her. So that makes me think, is there a chance that we could get some of these characters that passed as humans? Like, could they come back? Could like Miller and Julie come back? as the alien proto molecule version i don't know i just meant the actors because i don't think like i think they their bodies died but i wonder because i just i just remember the proto molecule learns it transforms uh why do you need kids why are you using kids um and then the last thing i'll say is that i just feel like naomi and holden's relationship shows just how like romance and relationships can really explore deep messages because their breakups was not just a romantic breakup like oh boohoo we'll miss you that was like a fundamental fundamental discussion of how to be a good person and how to do good in the world just represented in two characters that were saying goodbye to each other because that's something we don't know the answer to. And if you think you know the answer and the right thing, then you're wrong because you just, I don't, no one knows what's right. Do we just do the good that we can and help people on a smaller level? Or do we think bigger, try to really find the root of the problem, destroy the root of the problem as innocents that are alive here today die you know and are hurt and honestly i think that the best kind of society and the best solution is when we have both types of people doing that work so that's why their their separation was essential and that's why they knew it and i think that's why holden didn't fight her on it because he knew that the people on ganymede needed her and that's worthwhile and she wasn't like no we have to like what you're doing is useless you have to come with me she was just like i can't go with you and i think that's really gorgeous and it's an adult relationship and it's like so much more than that it's just kind of like we gotta help the ways that we can some people you know think bigger some people just want to help the ones around them neither is better or worse in my opinion it's interesting to think like, what am I doing? What good am I providing to the world?
And is it on a bigger scale, you know, smaller scale, whatever. And it, I just love the show. I love it so much. Anyways, thank you so much to my tier four patrons for producing this video. John G. Robinson and Light Yagami. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to all my other patrons and channel members for going above and beyond to support this channel. It helps so much. And I just love watching these shows and movies with you guys. If you would like to join the Patreon, it's available to you. I am really, you know, disciplining myself to do one, at least one Expanse episode a week. So if that interests you, go ahead and join. And yeah, I am just so grateful for you. And glad that the proto molecule doesn't exist in real life. F Jules Pierre Mount. And that, ah, it was just so good. Okay, anyways, I'm excited. I'll see you very soon. I love you so much. Bye-bye.